Welcome to the Daring Jumps Contest, where these contestants risk getting eaten if they miss their jump. Did he say eaten? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Too risky. Let's get out of here. All the remaining contestants have to do is launch themselves down the track, up the ramp and over the jaws of the dinosaur. Unless he's asleep. Frank? That's better. Then they try to land in these baskets, scoring as many points as they can. OK, first to go. Iron Man, will he get eaten? No, he doesn't get eaten. He scores five points. Next to go, Sally Carrera. Wow, a fabulous jump and ten points. Sally takes the lead. Spider-Man. He also scores ten points. A great jump. Lightning McQueen. How did he do that? He very nearly became dinosaur food, but somehow escaped. Zero points, but he didn't get eaten. Ultron. Another great jump and another ten points. Sarge. He never even made the ramp. A good job, perhaps. Batman. Not a strong jump, but just makes the five points basket. Holly Shiftwell. Another solid five points. Thor. Wait a minute. Can you hear snoring? Frank? Right, Thor. A good five points. Stormtrooper. Only just, but five points. Superman. Ooh, Superman was nearly eaten, but somehow escaped. No points though. Captain America. Nearly made the 10 points, but not quite. Wolverine. Just 5 points. Mater. Oh, Mater was staring right into the jaws of the dinosaur and managed to fall, missing the teeth. Amazing escape, but no points. Mikey. A good five points. Ant-Man. Woo! He lost control completely and somersaulted through the air. He's okay though. Last to go. R2-D2. He just needs a 15 to win. Doesn't get 15 but gets 10 to make it a four way tie with Sally Carrera, Spider Man, and Ultron. For the playoff, the dinosaur is moved back to make it more dangerous. First to go, Sally. Just misses the five point basket but doesn't get eaten. Spider Man. A good jump and five points again. Ultron. Another good five point jump. Can R2D2 get ten points to win? No, but he gets five, so we have a three way tie with Spider Man and Ultron. The dinosaur moves back even further. Spider Man. Nearly gets eaten, but hits the dinosaur on the nose and scores nothing. 
Ultra. Another good jump and 5 points. R2D2. Oh, he gets it all wrong, meaning that Ultron has won, with R2-D2 and Spider-Man in joint second place. The dinosaur is not happy. He didn't eat anyone. McQueen and Mater were busy exploring a whole new area. Let's try and find somewhere we can race, said McQueen. Yeah, there's bound to be something nearby, agreed Mater so they continued exploring. And it wasn't long before Mater saw something. Wow, it's huge, cried McQueen. There were twists and turns, lots of cacti, and a large corner to do tricks on. This is unbelievable, said McQueen. Yes, but that sign says no trespassing, warned Mater. Perhaps we shouldn't go near it. Are you kidding? You don't find a track like this every day, cried McQueen. So he went off to try it out. And he really enjoyed it. He even started showing off. Ooh, be careful. Those rocks don't look very stable, warned Mater. In fact, they're moving so much, even that wheel is turning. But McQueen kept on going. Mater then spotted something. Hmm. It looks like an egg, he said. Unfortunately, because McQueen was wobbling the rocks, the rocks were wobbling the egg, causing it to hatch. It's hatching, cried Mater. It's... it's... A dinosaur? A dinosaur? questioned McQueen. Suddenly... W what was that? asked a scared Mater. It was Butch, and the egg was his. And he wasn't very happy about it being disturbed. Ah! Quick! Hide! cried McQueen. So they hid in the rocks. We're stuck in here, said Mater. Butch is blocking our only exit. We need help, thought McQueen. Luckily, Arlo was nearby. Hmm, looks like McQueen and Mater are in a spot of bother, he thought. If I can distract Butch, maybe they can escape. He had an idea. Moments later, Frank arrived. Look, there's Frank, noticed McQueen. Maybe he'll distract Butch so we can run away. He did distract Butch. I think we can escape quicker if we use that ramp, suggested McQueen. I'll go first. He made it, so Mater soon followed. Run! They got away. When they were a safe distance away, they ran into Arlo. Aha, I see my plan worked, he said. Oh, it was you who brought Frank in to distract Butch, said McQueen. Thank you. No problem, guys, said Arlo. 
Butch is actually quite friendly, you just don't want to annoy him. Yeah, I should have been more careful on that track, admitted McQueen, but it was okay because everyone was safe and it had actually been quite an exciting day. Wow, what a big Lightning McQueen! Look, he's much bigger than Mac! Something's happening! He's opening up and transforming into a racetrack! Max got the real McQueen. Come on, said McQueen, let's race. OK, first to go, Sally against Hulk. Hulk's usually too big for these races, but he's OK for this one. But look at the shake. Hulk just kept on going. He's through to the next round. Unlucky Sally. Oh look, Frank's very quiet. Must have been the shock of seeing the giant McQueen. Captain America against Wolverine. Jumping all over the place, but Captain America went the farthest, so he's through. Batman against Mater. Close all the way, but Batman just wins. Unlucky Mater. Ultron against Wonder Woman. Very close. Wonder Woman had the early advantage, but Ultron just kept going. Through to the next round. Iron Man against Sarge. I'm sure Sarge only used two wheels. Yes, oh dear. Iron Man through. Superman against Holly. Holly lost all speed, leaving Superman, who's out of the picture, to win. Thor against McQueen. Now McQueen should do well on a McQueen track. Thor was always just in front and it finished that way. Thor through. Now last to go in the first round. Spider-Man against Ant-Man. Wow, that looks close. Let's see. Oh, Spider-Man just by the smallest of margins. So on to the quarterfinals. We have Thor v Spider-Man, Iron Man v Superman, Batman against Ultron, but first we have Hulk against Captain America. Hulk wins, but Captain America was on two wheels. And lucky not to turn over. Batman Ultron. Close, but Batman wins. Iron Man v Superman. Superman went right through. Iron Man never even made it as far as the camera. Well done, Superman. Thor v Spider-Man.
that was close and Thor just made it. So the semi-finals are Superman against Thor, but first we have Hulk against Batman. Hulk made it to the camera, uh, Batman didn't, so Hulk is through to the final. Superman Thor. Oh, now Thor made it to the camera. Where's Superman? He was under the camera. And he's gone further. So Superman wins. Unlucky Thor. So the final is Hulk against Superman. So close, but Hulk just kept going. So today's winner, who often can't race because he's too big, Hulk. Well done, Hulk. Lightning McQueen, Mater, Sally and Holly have all been caught by the giant red dragon. Let us go! Let us go! Sarge arrived. I think we needed men. Sarge had brought his superheroes team with him. Any ideas men? He said. Iron Man thought he knew of a weak spot on the dragon's chest and volunteered to launch himself at it. He missed the spot, but McQueen escaped during the attack. Thanks, said McQueen. Captain America stepped forward. I volunteer for a second strike, he said. Thank you, said Sarge. Captain America got into the launcher. He hit the dragon hard. The dragon reared up, dropping Mater. But Sally and Holly were still trapped in the wings. The dragon wasn't happy at all. Thanks, said Mater. McQueen and Mater went to Sarge. I think the dragon has a weak spot around the back, said McQueen. Great intelligence, said Sarge. Superman stepped forward. I volunteer, sir. Superman climbed into the launcher in its new position. Direct hit! The dragon turned around and came crashing to the ground. Sally and Holly leapt out. They were all okay and thanked their rescuers. Sarge asked McQueen why he was there with the dragons. We came for the dragon race course, said McQueen. Do your superheroes want to join us? We'd love to, said Sarge. The big dragon was put in a cage of trees out of the way with Hulk guarding it. Hulk was too big for the race launcher, unfortunately. The racers had to steer a path through the small dragons and the one going the farthest wins. Sally first. Ouch! She hit the first dragon hard. Now Wonder Woman. Wow! She steered a path through all the dragons. That's a great run and takes the lead. Thor. Just got tripped up by the green dragon but goes into second place. Mater. Oh, he tripped himself up and then hit the green dragon hard. He's okay. Holly. Steered a great path through the dragons but doesn't quite beat Wonder Woman by the narrowest of margins. Wolverine. 
Very neat steering, but lost too much speed. McQueen. Oh, the green dragon pushed him towards the two-headed dragon, where he overturned. He's okay though. Iron Man. Where did he go? Oh look, he crashed into the trees. Superman. Straight into the green dragon. Not a good run at all. Sarge. Sarge also hits the dragon, but goes further than Superman did. Wonder Woman is still in the lead. Spider-Man. What happened there? Oh, he hit the two-headed dragon, but that still puts him in third place. Captain America. Wow! He steered a completely different path and goes a long way into the lead with only one racer to go. Batman. I don't think he tried. Slow and still didn't hit a dragon. So in third place, Holly Schiffwell. In second place, Wonder Woman. But the winner, Captain America. Thanks for saving the day, Sarge. You said the bowling alley was down here, said McQueen to Mater. I thought it was, said Mater. Wait. Wow! There it is. McQueen turned around and looked. Giant pins. We'll never be able to throw that ball down. Look at the size of it. I've got an idea, said Mater. A Hot Wheels launcher. We'll throw ourselves at the pins. It was agreed. Real bowling. Mac moved into place to be umpire. And thinking this was going to be really fun, a lot of other cars arrived. First to go. Ultron. Five. Excellent start. The replay shows he very nearly got a strike. Batman. McQueen's all around that pin. Batman only scores four. He skidded going into the pins. Wolverine. Oh, that's an angry pin. Wolverine gets four. He turned at the end and was unlucky not to get more. Thor. Something to aim at. Gets five. He tried hitting them sideways. Five's a very good score. Sally. Under a pin, but scores four. She tried hitting them sideways as well. Captain America. Five, a very good score. Yoda. Five, he rolled in the pins. It worked, another five. Iron Man. Four. That was very close to five. Wonder Woman. Four. 
She was so close to actually hitting the fifth. Unlucky. Mikey. Three. Oh, he lost speed at the end. Sarge. Five. Still no one with a strike. Spider-Man. Four. He turned upside down. Superman. Five. That was the closest yet to a strike. So unlucky. The Hot Wheel Shark. Only three. He turned left, but did wobble a few more. They just didn't fall. McQueen. Five. Now that was so nearly a strike. Unlucky. Now, last to go. Mater. A strike would win it. Did he take off? Five. Yes, he hit the front pin halfway up. Unusual, but it nearly worked. So we have eight cars that all got five going into round two, where we move the launcher back a bit. First again, Ultron. This time, he manages four. Thor. Three, but was unlucky not to knock down more. Captain America. Oh, the slow pin at the end just made four. Yoda. Rolled into them again, but this time only two. Sarge. Three. What happened there? He was bouncing all over the place. Superman. Goes into the joint lead with four. McQueen. He also gets four. So Mater, going last, needs either a strike or a five to win. He's won. Five. Another flying attack gets the pins all knocking each other over. He's facing the wrong way. He doesn't know yet. He asked Mac. Yes, Mater. Five, said Mac. So at the end, we have four cars all tied for second place, but our winner today with five, Mater. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to see more Cars videos, go on, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and then watch another by clicking any of these pictures. See you soon.